So it looks like we finally have a new storyline underway over on Monday Night Raw. Both brands have great rosters, but it just feels like SmackDown has been in the lead when it comes to interesting stories. SmackDown right now has the Braun and Bray feud, Sonya Deville, and the SmackDown hacker. The tension rising between Sasha and Bailey, and so much more. So they have a lot of stories going on over at SmackDown and Raw has kind of been slacking behind SmackDown in terms of interesting stories, but Raw really picked up their game recently. We got introduced to three new stories on Raw. We now have Zelina Vega's dominant faction. Zelina was recently managing three superstars, but now she has put them together as one faction and they also had a dominant showing on Raw. Then we have the introduction of Seth Rollins stepping up as the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Seth had a few promos throughout the night and wrapped up the night by putting Drew McIntyre on notice. Then the last story that was introduced on Raw was the breakup between Bobby Lashley and Lana. Now this is one idea we touched on a few weeks ago and we talked about how we could see a breakup between Lashley and Lana any day now and that seems to be what's going on at the moment. The breakup story really picked up at WrestleMania. After losing to Aleister Black, Bobby Lashley was really frustrated and placed all the blame on Lana. Lashley said that he may need a new manager and a new wife. Those lines there by Bobby Lashley are definitely some hard-hitting words, and he's really putting it out there that he's fed up with Lana, which actually makes the story come full circle because Rusev warned him about her several months ago and just look at what Lashley is going through right now. Lashley and Lana have been together since September 2019, so they lasted just around seven months, and it looks like we're seeing their final days together. During his match on Raw, Lana was acting pretty strange. It was almost as if she was doing everything possible to distract Lashley during the match and cost him the win. Lashley would turn to Lana every time she called out something, and he just threw his hands up towards Lana as if he was saying, what do you want? That's when Lashley almost lost the match, but was still able to come out on top and pick up the win. After the matchup, you can definitely feel the tension between the two of them as Lashley just walked right past Lana and went up the ramp. Definitely does not look like a happy married couple at all. So what's going on here and why are they breaking up? Reports claim that WWE could be taking Bobby Lashley in a more serious direction and will maybe even see him as a main event talent. Since they're taking him in this serious direction, they just don't want Lana by his side, it seems. They feel like he'll be more impactful and could probably be taken more serious without Lana by his side. And that looks like the picture that they're already painting for us. WWE has been showing us that Lana is just a distraction from Bobby Lashley and is holding him back from bigger and better things. That's why once he officially gets rid of Lana, we may see him in bigger matches. One of the highly rumored matches for later this year is Bobby Lashley vs. Brock Lesnar. The two of them have never met in the ring before, and reports claim that one of the main reasons for the breakup is so that we can have this matchup between Lashley and Lesnar later on this year. That definitely is a huge first time match and WWE could put a lot of story into that matchup and make it interesting since they never have faced each other before. Sure, WWE could have had Lana and Paul Heyman go back and forth to build and sell the match, but it doesn't look like they want Lana to play any role in that feud. So we know what happens with Bobby Lashley after the breakup. He'll likely see a lot of great success. But then what happens with Lana? That's the big question here. The only reason Lana even returned to TV several months ago was for this on-screen relationship with Bobby Lashley. So if you take that away from her, what happens with her next? Well, Lana just signed a big contract, so WWE definitely has plans for her. We just don't know what will happen to her after the breakup. Will she enter the women's division as a full-time competitor? And will she just manage someone else? She could definitely become a full-time competitor, but it'll be really difficult to build her up a believable threat for someone like Becky Lynch. So she'll probably stay out of the title picture. Or what if WWE can do something with Lana and Liv Morgan again? Liv picked up the huge WrestleMania win over Natalya and then was seen again on Raw after WrestleMania. During the Raw after Mania, Liv tapped out, but she still was able to hang with a former women's champion and 
give her a good run for her money in that match. So the loss didn't hurt Liv and actually proved that she could go at it with the best of the best. But in terms of direction and story, Liv does seem to be at a standstill once again. All the other former Riot Squad members, Sarah Logan and Ruby Riot, competed in Money in the Bank qualifying matches, but Liv was left out. So if Liv Morgan doesn't really have anything going on, and Lana is soon to have nothing going on as well, what if WWE used this opportunity to get a second chance to fix one of the year's most poorly written storylines? This poorly written storyline, of course, being the Liv Morgan and Lana relationship story. So much hype for Liv Morgan's return. Liv was posting hints and teasers about her relationship with Lana. Lana was posting her own YouTube videos that added more backstory to their relationship. But nothing was done with Liv Morgan and Lana on WWE television. So this could be a great opportunity for WWE to get a second chance to fix their storyline. That was a complete mess earlier this year. Lana and Liv Morgan are both in rough spots. A reunion with Rusev isn't even on the table for Lana anymore since Rusev was just released. We all assumed a reunion with Lana and Rusev would be the end game to this storyline, but not anymore. Of course, with all these releases going on right now, superstars and fans are all very emotional at the moment. But Lana did take some time to stay in character and continue the storyline with Rusev even after the release. Even though Rusev is gone, Lana is here to stay and won't be going anywhere anytime soon, especially since she signed that massive five-year contract extension. So it seems that Lana is a part of their future plans. But Lana took to Twitter to mock Rusev's release and had this to say, I hate to be the person in these trying times, but let this be a reminder of who Rusev really is. Thank you, Rusev. Next. Lana then posted a raw clip from a few years ago showing how Rusev wanted her out of the ring, saying things like, nobody needs you and get out. The clip was from when Rusev first split from Lana and Lana was using the clip just as a way to say that Rusev deserved the release and not to feel bad for him. Of course, Lana is just playing around. Rusev is still very much her real life husband, but some fans got worked by the tweet and others knew it was a joke. It's an unfortunate end to Rusev and Lana that we never saw coming. Rusev is released. Lana stays in the company and we never get that reunion. Then for Liv Morgan, her best friend, Sarah Logan, was also just released. So if there was any chance of them reuniting as a tag team, that is now gone as well. So it'll be interesting to see how everything turns out for Bobby Lashley, Lana, and Liv Morgan. WWE didn't release any of them during the budget cuts. So it's clear that WWE has a plan for them. So for today's bonus story, we'll have an update regarding all the WWE releases and if more could be on the way.
your thoughts on these stories? And do you think WWE should redo the Lana and Liv Morgan story or leave it alone? Leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.